Hey guys, welcome to the Saccharide. I hope you all are doing good today. Uh, in my previous vlog, I spoke to you about technical aspects which you will have to look for before you go and buy a new microphone. In today's episode, I'm going to put all of that knowledge into perspective and give you a list of four good microphones which are budget friendly, which, which have good performance and which are easily available in Indian market today. Stay tuned. Before I could speak any further, if you haven't watched my previous vlog, I would suggest you go and watch it now. The link is somewhere here. Yeah, because that sets you, uh, that gives you an idea about what I'm actually speaking and sets a good foundation for you to understand today's episode. The first microphone which I would like to uh, suggest is Samson Go Mic. This is a small and compact microphone which fits in your pocket. You can carry it around anywhere and comes with USB connectivity so you will not need any USB audio interface to connect to. This directly connects to your computer and uh, also comes with a bundled software which you can record with. Uh, I could not find the frequency response diagram for this but this is a simple cardioid pattern microphone and since this is small in size the diaphragm size is small so this will be ideal to record vocals uh, voiceovers uh, and if you are a youtube cover artist who, who does acoustic covers you can very well record your acoustic guitar uh, vocals and mix it with a software which is provided along uh, this comes with a price of around around four to five thousand depends depending on where you buy it from if you're tight on budget and if you're just starting off uh, this should be a good microphone for you the second microphone which i would like to suggest is uh, samson c01 um, if you have an audio interface already and if you are looking for a budget friendly microphone which which can do it all which can do much more than vocals then uh, this is a serious contender because uh, if you look at the frequency response of this microphone it's fairly flat and it it captures most of the frequency bands fairly well and uh, this is a cardioid pickup pattern looks a little different because uh, this is something called as a hypercardioid which I did not explain in the previous video um, because it's a little bit more technical to explain but understand that this is very much a cardioid microphone. Coming back to the frequency response curve of uh, C01. C01 uh, can be widely used to record uh, vocals, acoustic guitars, it does the job pretty well and it is priced very reasonably at around five to six thousand. Another special mention along with C01 is C03. C03 is a slight derivative of C01 but it comes with an added advantage of different pickup patterns. Now if you can extend your budget a little bit, uh, you get these options like it, you can switch between cardioid, figure of 8 and omnidirectional pickup patterns and the frequency responses of various pickup patterns you can see is uh, fairly consistent and this costs somewhere between six to seven thousand uh, i think it's a fair deal for all of these options and i've uh, tried and tested this microphone uh, it is good for the price and uh, if you're looking for your first microphone uh, for your home studio then uh, you should seriously look at this the second microphone or the second set of microphone which I would like to suggest is a Shure SM57 and SM58. Uh, these microphones are legendary and you can never go wrong if you go and buy this. These have been there for decades, have been time tested and almost every level of studio has these microphones. Uh, 57 and 58 basically are the same microphones 58 is more uh, designed um, the ergonomics of 58 is designed towards stage use and ergonomics of 57 uh, is designed to be used in the studio essentially they are the same microphones so if you look at the frequency response of this uh, it doesn't do well too much in the ultra low set of frequencies but it is fairly straight when it comes to the usable frequency band which means you can use it for almost all of the instrument range like you can use it for most of the instruments to record and it has a slight bump over 5k which means uh, you get uh, really nice highs on your vocals or uh, your violin or your guitar 
So this costs somewhere around 5,500 or 6,000 rupees based on uh, where you buy it. Uh, I will say you can just close your eyes and buy this microphone because you can never go wrong. Last but not the least mentioned is one of my favorite microphone. I have been using it for years. It has worked really well for me. Give it up for Rode NT1A. This microphone, uh, I have been using it for the last five years. And uh, if you look at the frequency response of this, this is fairly consistent. It is fairly straight. It has a slight bump at around uh, between 100 and 200 kilo 200 hertz so which means that you get really uh, cool highs and solid low end in this you can use it for everything you can use it for indian classical instruments you can use it for uh, recording string instruments you can use it for recording uh, your guitars vocals group vocals anything and everything one more best part about this microphone is it has uh, the least noise bed. It is so quiet. It is quieter than most of the microphones I've tried and tested. So this has a great dynamic range. It's a simple cardioid and uh, again you can never go wrong if you buy this microphone. If you if you have a budget, if you can extend this, uh, extend your budget a little bit, this, this is slightly on the expensive side. This costs around 17,000 rupees or something but uh, this microphone is something which you can keep for life even if uh, this is your first microphone even if you look for an upgrade in the future uh, this microphone will always be there in your studio like it has been uh, like it has been there in my studio so there you have it guys this is the list of four top microphones which i would suggest to you and also on another note there are a lot of counterfeit models, there are a lot of good looking Chinese knockouts which are coming out. Uh, you can see them on, on eBay and Amazon, they come with really cheap price, they look really good. Please stay away from them because uh, they look nice, they look like studio microphones but actually aren't. So uh, don't cheat yourself by buying all of those stuff. Uh, I hope this vlog has helped you. Uh, do share this with your friends. Uh, do subscribe and click that bell icon now because a lot of vlogs will be coming on your way and if you think I've missed uh, some of the microphones which you've used and which are really good then uh, please do comment in the comment section uh, hopefully I'll do another vlog with another list of equipment uh, that's it see you in the next vlog